two in a row. Well, I can't imagine Djokovic ever experienced something like that on the drop shot. And the fact that he's only got a racket on three out of ten of them is quite extraordinary. And not only not got a racket on, but as we've seen, I mean, barely got anywhere close, taken a step and realised that, I mean, they are just so perfectly executed. Beautifully done. He's missed one or two in this third set as well, so Pete Williams hit it that well on such a big point, such a crucial game. No, he didn't get that. You have got to be kidding me. In the 30. My goodness. Audacious. But we shouldn't expect anything else. And Alcaraz has chipped away at the lead in some style here. Quite something. The vision, the skill, and the execution could not have been any better. Oh, he went for it. Of course he did. It's what he does in tie breaks. He's just pulling Sasha all around the court, pushing him further and further behind the baseline, and then old trusty, that forehand drop shot. The reason it's so good is because you can't see it coming the way he prepares the racket. It looks like he's going to hit a normal forehand, and all of a sudden he gets under the ball.
Oh, what a change up. That is tremendous. A shot that we've seen him employ so often over the recent times. Not for the first time. Djokovic is burnt by the drop shot. Alcaraz is back in front. Yeah, it's very clever. It's just magnificent from Alcaraz. Outstanding from the fans and outstanding from Carlos Alcaraz. Finally. Oh, it's a lovely feel. Played the conditions perfectly that time. It's a, a good option. Gracias, gracias.